What's up, sports bettors? U.S. Open odds have started to be posted, and DraftKings screwed up big time. I hammered a ton of good bets, which I'm going to run through with you, right? Mathematically profitable bets where we're getting ridiculous value in the odds. You can see this bet on Monday for Benjamin Bonzi versus Ugo Umbart has a 10% profit margin, roughly. You bet $100, you have $10 in profit margin. DraftKings is giving you Umbart at plus 120 money line odds, right? Every sports book, the two sharpest bookmakers are pricing this at minus 120 and minus 113 respectively. So pretty ridiculous value. And what you'll notice about DraftKings is unfortunately they, you know, as you can see, they only give me like, you know, $68 on my tennis plays. But regardless, they screwed up big on a lot of these plays. So I was able to lock in a lot of good bets. So we can see right here, Ugo Umbart, plus 120. I hit it for 59.11, which was the max that DraftKings allowed me to wager with a 9.55% profit margin. So my bet has, you know, 565 in EV, in profit margin. You know, this bet is essentially worth a happy meal. I would not give you my bet for $5 in cash. This bet is ridiculously profitable. And the same strategies you know, of looking for value in the odds, whether you're betting on the US Open, any other, you know, tennis match, sport in general, is you're always looking for value, right? So the second play I have is Alejandro Tabilo, right? Him on the money line, I took him plus 110 on DraftKings. So you can see that right here, 64.48. So I have 64.48. And then this is on Tabilo money line. And again, it's another sharp bet with a mathematical profit margin that outweighs the VIG. The two sharpest bookmakers in the world both have this favored to be a low money line. Bet Online is pricing this at minus 124. Pinnacle is placing this at minus 116. When the two sharpest sports books have an outcome favored and you can get it plus 110, that's clearly an indication that you're getting a bet with ridiculous value. So this bet is 422 in profit margin. Right, even though DraftKings is limiting my stake to not much, I'm still making some money off them. So, so pretty excited about that. Then I have Pedro Cash in minus 140. No other sports books giving us better than minus 180. Right, it's pretty rare that sports books slip up this bad. But the great thing about Odds Jam is it's constantly scanning the markets, sending you notifications when sports books, you know, screw up as big as they did here. So we have 99.30 on this one. So this is a favorite. So we have cash and money line. So now we're at 15 bucks in profit margin. And then we have um, Alexi plus 115, minus 107 bet online, plus 101 pinnacle. So these bets are, you know, getting a little lower in profit margin, which is how Odds Jam is sorted, right? It's constantly scanning the markets. And sometimes there's no bets available, right? Sometimes, you know, there's no sharp bets available. As a sharp better, you're essentially like an investor. You know, you never know when the best bets are going to occur. You never know when, you know, there's going to be mathematical value. So there may be some days where you only have a few bets. And then there may be other days where you're hammering US open lines left and right, like you can see I did. And then we have, you know, this last one on Thiago. I also bet that. But Regardless, you know, roughly $20 in EV total in all these bets, $20 in profit margin, just from being on Odds Jam, you know, kind of late at night and seeing these ridiculous opportunities. You can actually see this Ugo Umbart bet. Now it's down to plus 110. It looks like they moved it down a bit. And if you want a little more action, right, what you can do as well is you can go over to tennis, we can go to US Open. You know, you're kind of like a trader. You got to know how to navigate these books quickly is um, what we can do is we can go to Umbart. So you, wow, he's minus 130 now. <laughs> we just bet this guy. He's now minus 130 on DraftKings. We just bet him plus 120, I think something like that, something like this. So this is, you know, literally the power of day trading sports. You're f <laughs> this has moved 50 cents. It's now minus 130, we bet it plus 120. And again, you never know when these bets are gonna occur when sports books are going to slip up, but it's always cool to, you know, be able to get ridiculous value um, like this and be able to share it with you guys to just kind of show you the power of day trading sports and kind of being a sports investor um, and a profitable sports better.
So hopefully you found this video helpful and let's make some money.